What is an exoplanet? Well, Larry, it's, it's simply any planet outside of our own solar system. Why do they call them exoplanets? Well, exo is, is Greek for outside, so it's with, with reference to our own solar system. How are we finding them? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that <laughs> yeah. here. Um, so there are, there are a couple major um, techniques. I'll, I'll, I'll show you one. And it just happens to be in my pocket. Imagine this to be a star, and it's incredibly simple. Here's a planet. And we have a telescope that's called the Kepler Space Telescope. It just stares out into the sky, and it looks for a dip in light. So if you're looking at the starlight and the planet comes across and you're the telescope, you're going to see a, a, a decrease in light as the planet travels across the face. And when, it, and when it does that three times, we commit to the fact that it's a confirmed planet. What do you make of that? Well, exoplanets are part of the reason that we, in fact, are doing this experiment. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, just before the Crimean War broke out, I would, go to the, <laughs> I would go to the Hayden Planetarium in New York, and they would tell you, you know, there probably aren't any other planets around other stars. Well, that's not true. Now we know most stars have planets. The number of planets, even in our own galaxy, is probably tens of billions that are like the Earth. So given that, it would be really astounding if this were the only world where anything interesting is happening. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.